Hello. So, today I'm going to go over fur texture because I've been looking on the internet and there's no texture fur tutorials on Sculpey that I could find that were any good. So, I will show you how I do it because it's very difficult to get information. And as you can see, this is the bay that I'm working on. And he's got lots of fur detail. Which the camera doesn't pick up too well, but I will post a photo so if it's a better one. No bear lip. So, I have a flat piece of clay right here where I started to texture. And the key with fur texture is to use, sorry about my nails, um, short and long lines and then you, go, you rub them off and that's like your, your first layer. And then you redo it. So then you go back in. Focus. Too bright. Let me turn the lights down a little bit. There we go. But what you don't want to do is hold your thing straight up and down and just scrape. Because then two things happen. You get this mess. It doesn't look good at all. I have to turn the light off. Maybe it's a little better. So you get that and you get a whole bunch of little garbagey pieces all over and it just doesn't look good. And then your tool gets all gunked up. So you don't want to do that. But what we do want to do is if you can, take your sculpture, beep, take your sculpture and turn it, angle it. So I'm working at it like this angle. So when you pull back your fur texture, you're essentially just denting it and you're not scraping up clay and picking up pieces. So that way it'll keep your thickness around your sculpture more even and you don't have that rough little patchy cleanup that we see over here. Now I'm just using a needle tool that I purchased a very long time ago. It came in like a pack of 10 cheap ones but I do like this one. I also have a metal needle tool which is larger so I use them both for different sizes because fur is different sizes. So you don't want anything too uniform because then it looks fake. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And then I also have this dental tool that I acquired. I don't know, sometimes you get things and they just appear into your craft box. So it has a scoop on one side and a flat part on the other side which has like a, almost like a scalpel effect. And that's also really good for, again we're going to angle it and just dent it a little bit tiny strokes and then a couple of long strokes that are not straight you don't want to go super straight you want to kind of curl it and then you get your nice fur texture and it looks like fur and then you go in with your tiny one so I made big areas here and then I'm going to go fill them in move some clay around. Now there are times when I'll just go under here, I'll push really hard and I'll scoop and then it makes a divot and just go over that divot and it makes like a dent in the fur, like a new layer. Use little strokes and big strokes and the best way to learn this is to just look at photos but see how much nicer that looks than just going straight lines. this one looks much better. So that's the technique to use. Um, another thing is look at pictures of your animal. Look at you know your dog or your cat or you know if you're making something like I pulled up a bear and I saw well hey they have a uh, their fur starts in the middle and it mostly goes out from and then over their eyes kind of like eyebrows and then you know their muzzle like dogs and stuff their fur goes back so everything goes towards the eye. But with bears, 
it goes down. It goes up and down. And the only way I would have known that is if I would have looked it up. Um, different textures can be achieved with different things. I didn't this nose with a sponge. Um, you just push the sponge in it and then you put your finger on it and you push around. But a lot of this stuff is just practice, but I could not find a decent for tutorial. So I figured I would help somebody who's trying to look to do it. So I'll show you guys one more time. All I did was put this in the in the pasta machine and um, just make a flat piece. So to start your fur, you're going to look up your direction, angle it, and you're just denting. And you're not going straight. You're going to go, you're going to put little whips on the ends, and you go back and you fill in with your needle tool. And I'm doing it very quickly. Um, usually I take a long time to mess with fur or I'll wipe it off completely. So this is layer one. There's still a little bit of pebbles in there of clay, but not as bad as the other one. So I'm going to take my finger, I'm going to smear it, and that's layer one. I mean, if you have really short fur, you could leave it like that. And then I'm going to take it and just go back again and just keep reworking it until I'm happy with it. You can also pinch the little long pieces and work them into the clay. So that's when your dental tool, like I have this little cylinder that I put in there. See how it does that like nice crisscross effect like the fur is laying on top of it? And then you just enhance it with your needle tool. But that turned out really nice. So that's the basics of fur texture with sculpting. Um, I would like to do more of these in the future if you guys like them. So let me know with a comment and who knows, maybe you'll see some more tutorials from me. Okay, bye!